Angels TV Creative Experience Hello business owner I understand how difficult it is for you to get clients for you to get your prospects and I know that a lot of business owners out there they go out in hustle for opportunities they go out in hustle of prospect and customers but at Reels TV we bring you closer to all of these opportunities we bring you closer to your prospect and we bring you closer to the money you need to make from your business welcome to business and entrepreneurship corner my name is Edion Singh and Dunomo and I am your host hello viewers welcome to business and entrepreneurship corner on Reels TV my name is Edion Singh and Dunomo of course you know what we do on the program every other day it is bringing you closer to your client and your prospect and of course with the overall aim of making you have more money and making more sales as well today on the program we'll be having a very beautiful and hard-working smart acquirable lady she's best in Putakod. of course we told you that we we don't just work with an acquirable but we we go around nigeria bringing entrepreneurs and all sort of productive persons i mean positively productive presence to the name light. So before I introduce my guest uh, for today, actually a very beautiful lady, let me keep your suspense. Please, we'll go on this short break. Hey, welcome back from that very uh, short break. Of course, uh, like I do tell you here on the program, funnily, we, we don't really have um, old people come on the show. That's to tell you that um, Aquaibo Mute, Nigerian Mute in general, they are not lazy. And of course, one of such persons to there that I'll be introducing to you is another smart and very beautiful Aquaibo young lady. Of course, she's none other than the very beautiful and delectable Grace. Coco, Grace, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So good Great. to have you. Good to be here. So um, I was a journey from Putakot down here. It was fine. It was those stressful, but I think uh, it was fine. Okay. Yeah. And then I believe the road wasn't that bad. No, 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 it wasn't that bad. Okay, and it didn't affect it. Aquabum are very, are very nice. Aquabum road. How about the other part of Nigeria? <laughs> maybe, maybe coming from uh, Putakot to. Yeah, it's uh, fine. No, it, it was fine. So it, it was actually a smooth journey, but a bit stressful. I'm so sorry about the stress. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the program. So how do you Thank feel finding you. yourself here? I feel good. I feel happy. And um, I'm glad I'm here today. Mm. So please, we'll have you here. Now, I, I understand that you run a, a foundation. Yeah. Divine Grace foundation. foundation. So what are you going into? Okay, Divine Grace Foundation is an NGO um, registered with CSC in the year 20, 2018. 2018, okay. Yeah. And um, our mission and our vision is just to have a healthy and just society with okay. equal opportunity. Mm. Because we notice that some of our youth are not uh, do not have the same opportunity with the others. Oh. Because um, um, they don't know how to go about it. So what the Divine Grace Foundation does is to organize trainings, mm. professional trainings and, okay. and technical skills to to youth that um, would that love to have those, uh, you know, skill but they don't have the necessary resources, okay. and they don't have the uh, the ability to go about it. Mm. So we came into the picture to bridge the gap between the train um, our youth okay, and, and, and then the, the institution, institution that gives yes. the training. Okay, if I understand you, uh, Divine Grace Foundation is basically dealing with the youth. If yes. I understand you right, yes, basically into the youth. Okay, do you have a, a particular segment of the society that you deal with, say? Uh, geographical location or something? Uh, not really, but for now we are we are just at the south south area. Okay. Yeah, for now, but 
our dream is to take it outside. <laughs> mm, that would be nice. That would be nice. And I, personally, I would like to be a part of, of a, a part of it. But don't say I said. Uh, don't, don't just tell me about that. Okay. Now uh, let's let's get to understand. Like in I know South South, we have about six states, right? Yes. Yeah, and so in these six states, how many of them have been able to establish a, a branch on office? Our headquarters is in in Portugal. Okay. Most of my activities are in Portugal. Okay. Oh, you system. operate from Portugal. Yes. But your activities. Most of my activities. Most of your activities are here in Portugal. What has made that possible? Uh, like I said earlier, I'm an I'm an Portugal mm. So I think um, my people should benefit more. Okay. All right. Before I can take it out. You you keep saying you're an Portugal. Which part of Portugal are you from? Uh, I'm from Onalwa. Ona. You are the owner of the governor. <laughs> <laughs> so that means, uh, uh, would you say uh, people from that axis, or say uh, maybe the governor is uh, sponsoring uh, any of your program or something? No, 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 no. No one is sponsoring. Like, like nobody say bank rolling. No one is bank rolling. Okay, nobody is bank rolling. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it it was actually um, it was um, driven by passion. Okay. And I remember when I started in 2018, it was just me. It was just my phone. You say 2018. Okay. Yes, it was just me. So, but along the line, we have you know partners, friends, and uh, and loved ones that say, okay, I like what you're doing, mm. and and they support me in their own way. Okay, so basically, for now, it's with support from friends, friends families, and family and, and loved one. Then your passion. Of course, they say mm. uh, when the passion is right, nothing is possible. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible. When the passion is right, nothing is impossible. And today I have the very beautiful Grace and a very smart one at that. She's very <laughs> smart. And if you look at her very well, you'll be proud that Aquibon people are doing great. Imagine a young lady uh, that is, I don't, I'm not sure she's up to, uh, how old are you? <laughs> but she's doing um, tremendously well all day in River State, but um, impacting our community here in Aquibon. And I, I trust a lot of persons have been benefiting from yes, whatever she does. Okay, but before I get to uh, let her tell us how far she's been able to uh, train some persons from Aquibum and perhaps around um, the south south zone, we'd like to go on this very short break. Okay. We believe that the best service makes a customer not see you. That's why we strive to be not just the best but legendary. We begin with the end in mind to solve the problem you may have to help you bring to the next level so you can succeed. We are a company you can trust. You found us. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back from that very long but short break. <laughs> if you didn't get that right, but it was a short break. And um, of course, it's Business and Entrepreneurship Corner here on Reels TV. Today has been a, an opportunity to meet another young Aquibum person, a very beautiful one at that, Grace Coco. Uh, Grace is from Mona and she's doing uh, some very tremendous work. Uh, running a foundation called Divine Divine Grace, Divine Grace Foundation, and I, I would like you to share some more insight on, or throw some more light to what Grace um, uh, Divine Grace Foundation has done so far. Okay, Divine Grace Foundation has done tremendously well mm. for the past two years, and um, we've been tra we've been able to train um, one thousand nine hundred eighty students. One thousand nine hundred eighty. That's yeah, amazing. That has been you should add twenty to that now. <laughs> to train in different areas okay like in the hsc uh, scaffolding industrial rigging um crane operation mm. pipe fittings pipe welding and um, survival at sea and other soft skills okay. like the makeup the ankara making oh you are everywhere making. yes i'm everywhere anything that has added um, value uh, to you value to okay. life is all we do so mm. it's not just on on the professional skill alone we probably do the you know uh, technical skills too and the soft skills so and um, i think 
that's that's all I've done. Okay, now uh, if I ask you to do a further breakdown, say the HSC, how is it? Is it because I understand that we have about three stages of um, HSC. HSC? Do you do all of this? Yeah, we do HSC one, two, and three. Okay. Now, what we do is that uh, we partner with institute that that are. Uh, that have the license to because I was about coming there to you know to certify them at the end of the training. Mm -hmm. Now the reason why we do this is because uh, most persons do not have the necessary resources to go for this training mm. at the institute because okay. it, it runs for like a thousand. All right. So what we do f um, when it has to do with um, our foundation is that we partner with these guys. Okay. All right. To organize a free training, it's, free it's training. actually a free training. Do you subsidize anything? Like, do you pay anything to your partners, or what has the partners you've done? Yes, we do. Um, what the trainees pay, you know, goes straight to our partners. Okay. All right, because they pay this money at very, you know, I would say at a free cost because it's a very minimal, okay. you know, amount, right? Where everybody can afford. Okay. Because if if we keep it at that a um, hundred thousand. 120 80,000. Not everybody can afford it, all right? So we keep it at a flat rate where everybody, anybody, and everybody can afford mm. it. Okay, now, but they say uh, that people do not really appreciate free things. Have you been able to uh, follow up this 1,980 persons you've trained so you're, far to be sure that they are you're productively very right. engaged? You're, you're very right when you say people don't appreciate free things because I, I noticed that when I think our first training. It was actually free, as in free everything. Mm. But people were like, "Why? Why are uh, you know? Why, why are she they doing, doing this? Free okay. and all that?" So when it comes to our registration, you don't pay money for it. Okay. But everything is free. So we now said, "Okay, you have to pay token for your certificate, mm. because if we say everything should be free, if we decide to pay for you, you might not really appreciate it. So you, when you're 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 able to pay a token for." You know, certificate, your, your okay, certificate, okay. you'll be able to appreciate it and you'll know, okay, yes, I paid for this. Stuff. So would you say people are really appreciative of this um, gesture of yours or yes, they of are. Divine Grace Foundation? Yes, they are. We have a lot of testimonies. We mm. have a lot of testimonies. Okay, we so have... did you come here with, uh, say, uh, evidence of those um, testimonies? Of course I, I did. Okay, please, the, um, the uh, testimonials from trainings that have been run by Divine Grace uh, Foundation, uh, the running currently on your screen. And of course, if you want to reach out to uh, the... Uh, are you the CEO? What's it called in foundation? I would <laughs> like to know that. I'll uh, call it the founder. Okay, the founder. If you want to uh, reach out to the founder of Divine Grace Foundation, the numbers to call or the number to send your WhatsApp message and SMS to are running on your screen. And of course, all uh, the uh, social media handles, including a very private uh, social media handle, that are there on your screen. So please feel free to reach out to uh, Grace Coco. I think that's the name Grace on Facebook. Coco, yes, Grace Coco. Grace Coco, what is it on Twitter? Uh, are, you on, are you on Twitter? I'm on Twitter, so but I. You're not, you're not really active. It's for there. my. <laughs> <laughs> no, just for me. Okay. But I think I, I'm, I'm always on Facebook. Mm. Yeah, I'm always on Facebook. Of course, we have a, a lot of people from Aquibum here that are on Facebook. Now, before I get to, because I know something brought you to Aquibum, okay. and I would like you to uh, share that with us. But before then, I would like us to go on this very short break. Hello business owner, I understand how difficult it is for you to get clients, for you to get your prospects and I know that a lot of business owners out there, they go out in hustle for opportunities, they go out in hustle of prospects and customers but at Rio's TV, we bring you closer to all of these opportunities, we bring you closer to your prospects and we bring you closer to the money you need to make from your business. Welcome to Business and Entrepreneurship Corner. My name is Eddie Onsing and and I am your host. from that very short break viewers i i know you've been enjoying the, every segment of the program and if you want your business if you like your business to come on brios tv uh the numbers to reach out to uh, is there and of course you can uh, go to our social media handles uh, on Bri at brios tv on twitter and then brios tv on uh, facebook and i think same thing on uh, brios tv on instagram and you can do business with us uh, like uh today Today has been with them a very beautiful and delectable lady from our choir room here, uh, Anona Babe. <laughs> Sorry to call you Babe, but um, a lady from Anona. She's actually very beautiful and creative. Uh, Grace 
Koko. Uh, but then I don't know. You say Koko is from. Is that an acquired name? <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm not okay, going to do that. okay, okay. I allow that. Um, Grace, we've been in a very sensitive uh, period now, in globally, okay. uh, talking about the coronavirus pandemic that almost held everybody uh, yeah, to spell and all of that. Uh, what has uh, been the contribution of Divine Grace Foundation uh, to the populace during this season? Okay, thank you very much. Um, during the pandemic. I think that was the month of... Um, Is it during the lockdown or...? During the lockdown, okay, uh, around April, mm. I think April. Divine Grace Foundation and our team went out to, you know, to the orphanage. Okay. We were able to give our, our quarter, you mm. know, to, to the orphans to also aid in... Um, in their feeding uh, and in, their yeah, welfare. Feeding and I think we okay. provided some drugs for them. Oh. We provided drugs, we provided some food, um, food products for them, mm. and um, some cash too, you know, to, to take care Am of them. Amazing. Too. Drugs, so, food, and all of drugs, that. Food, I, I want to believe cash. that those students really prayed for you guys. Yeah, they did. I, I think the video is here, so, <laughs> <laughs> so they did it. I can imagine. They were so. really happy. They were happy because um, at that point, at that point, um, we just felt it was our, our own way of contributing mm. to. You know, the society. The society. Oh wow, it amazing. Was amazing. Amazing. It was. Amazing. Okay, now Grace, I understand that. And before you we went on that break, I had said that uh, something brought me to a Brought it to a <laughs> Of course. I want you course. to spill spill the milk. Okay. Um all right. I like I said earlier, what we do is we go from one place to another to preach, you know, the gospel of um, of the need of our, our youth to be skilled. Because most of, of our youth are not employed, not because they didn't go to school, mm. but because they don't have the necessary, you know, skill set to equip okay. themselves. And um, we we find ourselves in a society where what we studied in school is not really actually what we are doing. Certainly, but then anymore. still good. Of course, because because <laughs> it, it, it actually exposes us, you know, to the four world. All right, we we equally have an insight of of why we are here. But we notice that most of the things we are doing today is not actually what we studied in school. Absolutely. You see a micro just working in a bank as a banker and all that. So we live in a society where professional skill has taken over the old place. And uh, you go for an interview and um, the, the next thing you'll be asked is outside what you've presented after your, your first class and all that. What, what else, what other value can you add to mm. the society and to the company? And most of our youth are found wanting in this area. You know, most of them, not because they don't want to go for this professional scheme, but because they don't have the necessary resources, okay. like I said earlier. And uh, that's why Divine Grace Foundation is preaching this gospel, especially to my people in Akwai Bible State. Okay, of we have a lot Charity of opportunity. At home. We have a lot of, of opportunity. We have a governor that is, uh, that is, is dwelling into industrialization mm. and you cannot walk into into a company even if it's, it's, it is it is situated in your village you can't walk into that place and say you need a job when you don't have Value the necessary you know um skill set qualifications yeah. mm. in you know to go into it and um i want to preach this gospel to my people here in aquaibo i have a training that's coming up in Oron on monday okay in Oron, and um, where we are going to be having the HSA, HSA levels one, two, and three. Okay. We are going to be having the industrial rigging, and we are going to be having the industrial scaffolding trainings. So our youth can come in, acquire the skill, and okay. get and get you know certified, so they can walk in boldly to anywhere and say, okay, I am an okay. indigenous of Aquaibom. I, I I have this, I have that. All right, I think I I have this job because most of our people will say, uh, will say, okay. If, if even if you're being employed on on the grounds of the of the, what's it called on the grounds of you're from there okay there there always be something that will be done and and you'll be kicked out with the excuse that you, you lack value you are not qualified okay okay so great if I, I i don't know if i give you the opportunity you will say more and more and more <laughs> uh you where in our is this uh training coming up two one zero wrong it's, okay it's an apostolic okay okay. Church. okay an apostolic church is it in partnership with the church yes in okay with the church. beautiful god bless the apostolic church there are two yeah. one zero all wrong road no yes. uh who are the persons qualified to come for this um training okay well um, from 18 years okay. and um, if 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 you're able to read and write okay and we it's also open to graduates undergraduates core members 
those that are already working but they don't have the qualifications. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now uh, let, let's get to understand something. You you said uh, that most, when you started out, it was by because of passion and then with the support from family, friends, and loved ones, perhaps. Okay. Now this particular project in Oran. Who are the people with buy? They ask this question. Let me borrow. Let me borrow a from the uh, trending words now. Who, who is ban rolling? Who is ban rolling you? Okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Like I said earlier, at this point, nobody's ban rolling anybody. Okay. All right. Um, like I told you earlier, we are partner with the church. Mm. So the church, when I I went to them with the proposal, say this is what I I I, I want to do and. And they bought into it and said, okay, I think we have youth in our church that uh, would need this kind of training. Okay. Right. So the church has provided us with the, uh, with the um, space the for space. training. Okay. And also, so what we do is, as an NGO, is to, uh, uh, you know, do a publicity. Mm. Tell the people the, of the importance. Okay. So the, before we get to talk about the publicity. So after the training, do you, do you have where you take uh, people to for... Say the practicals. If you, if yes. for some that are, do not have the equipment on on ground during yeah. the training. Yes, we do. Okay, we, where is the place? In Potakot. In at, Potakot. At Trans Amadi. Trans Amadi at Potakot. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, let's get to uh, talk about your own project again. Do you have um, contact persons in your own, or do you have a number? Say if someone from Uyo here wants to be a part of that training. Of course we do. Okay, so uh, can you call them out, please? All right, we have zero eight zero. Okay. Two seven seven eight. Okay. Nine eight seven seven. Zero seven zero. Zero eight zero. Okay. Two seven seven eight. Okay. Nine eight seven seven. Beautiful. Now, uh, how long would this project last? All right. It's usually a ten days training. Ten days training. Okay. Yeah, Monday to Friday. Monday to Fridays, from eight a.m. to two p.m. Okay. And it's just one session, right? Eight a.m. Eight a.m. For those that are coming for the industrial rigging and for those that are coming for the HSC, we have, let's say, from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. is for the HSC. Okay. And from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. thereabouts is for the industrial rigging. Okay. So we have two venues in Oron. We have one at Full Life Christian Center. Oh. And we have one at the Apostolic Church. Around. Where is Full Life at Oron? Uh, by Tobasco House. Okay. Uh, by okay. It Basin. should be. It should be a very popular place. Yes, it there. is. It is. Okay. It is. So one is at Full Life uh, Christian, Christian Center, Center. Oron, and the other at the Apostolic, the Apostolic Church, Church one, Two One Zero Oron Road, Oron. So if you are interested in this training, in fact, it should be interesting. So uh, there's no point asking if you're interested. So if you're interested in this project, in this training, please get yourself to Oron. One is at Full Life Christian Center and the other at uh, the, the Apostolic Church, Church 210 or on Road. So, okay, okay, Grace. Now, um, if you want to encourage people to come for the program, how would you do uh, The program is something that we need to, we, we really need to come for it because it, uh, it's one thing that will add value to you, no matter who you are and, and no matter what you've been or it, it, it will add value to because I uh, I'm told that um, no knowledge is lost. Yes sir. Alright, so we need to grab this opportunity, especially when it comes to us. We have a lot of industries like our AI I mentioned earlier and you can't just walk in there to to, to get a job when you're not qualified. Mm. So you need to be trained, you need to be certified and we need to get prepared for opportunities to come because you can't just sit at home and wait for opportunities. Of course, they say the when uh, preparation. So when preparation uh, meets opportunity, opportunity uh, success is inevitable. Mm -hmm, beautiful. So Grace, um, so far you've been in telling us or telling me personally because uh, that uh, you started out with passion and then with funding from yourself and perhaps from friends and loved ones and family. So would you like uh, anybody or maybe another organization, even politicians? Or anywhere to come partner with yes, Divine Grace and Foundation. Um, we need partners. We can't do this on our own. Mm. We've been doing this for two years, two years and on, counting. Our, on our own. But at this point, I'd like to call out on every well meaning Nigeria um, to partner with Divine Grace Foundation to see how we can reduce the social vices in this country. Mm. Because when one is not uh, is not is, is not busy. All right, they say an idle the man is, is the devil's a, workshop. Of course. So when you're not busy, the next thing you think about is how to go in, into crimes and all that. So, but if every youth, okay, let's say eighty percent of youth are busy with their lives, mm. are 
busy with something, all right? And there'll productive, be no need and, 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 and are productive, right? So there'll be no need for social vices. So we are calling on partners to partner with Divine Grace Foundation in any way you can to say that we can reduce the the high rate of unemployment mm. in especially mm. in my of course states. of course i recently there was a release by the nba so uh, with states of um, unemployment with the highest level of an unemployment, unemployment. and five of happen to be i think second on the list yeah uh, quite sad but i think with what you're doing um there should be a change in that narrative yes of course okay now yes. uh, is there any other project that, that you you grace uh, divine grace uh, foundation has yes, yes has in the I, pipeline? Have, I have a pet project I, oh this one is a pet project a pet project okay yeah, i have a pet project uh, that will be coming up in the month of october uh, that one is focused on the youth uh, particularly and, and the widows oh, oh the youth and the widows, and the widows what categories are yeah. is it the uh, female youth or the yeah. male youth uh, youth, female and, and male, yeah, okay. but yeah, the youth and uh, also the widows especially, mm. because um, we live in a society where widows are being neglected, mm. and um, most of them are, are are sliding into depression. All right, so I have a paid project for them. So what is the project where, about? All right, it's all about a skill acquisition. Okay, where they are going to be learning how to make a paint. Paint, okay. Paint production. They are going to be learning how to do makeup and gelatine. Mm. They are going to be learning how to make um, household products like the soap making, um, perfume, you know, um, hand wash, hands, sanitizers. And um, I think another one is um, um, shoe making. They are oh. going to learn how to do palms, you know, sandals and Lovely. all that. Okay. And finally, um, I think. Finally, is um, how to make small chops. Small chops. All this pastry. You know, we and, eat every day. <laughs> and I, I, I love small chops, actually. <laughs> pastry cakes, pop up balls, and all I don't that. know why I'm not. I've been eating so, <laughs> like this morning, I ate cake. <laughs> so they can start from somewhere. Mm. And um, we also have a plan for them where uh, the, the best five trainees from each of those departments will be will be given a startup. Oh, so yeah. if you if you if you, you should be prepared for this um mm -hmm. uh, October October training. Yeah, and it's also a way of marking my yes this year's birthday. You, oh, you uh, were born in October. October, so wow. I'm running it up. Well, you know, that's the only way I can celebrate I, your birthday. I can celebrate my Beautiful. birthday because I have been Beautiful. in this and I understand what it means to. So from all of us here at BLC, we wish you a happy birthday in advance. Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, okay, <laughs> so um. It does that that would be the, uh, that would be the size of our program today and um of course it's been a uh, a very uh, emotional moment for me too because i had uh, seen a young lady uh, come to share passion and then i'm talking about how she's been able to impact life and then uh, see how to change uh, the society positively uh, it gets me so emotional but then i'm happy too that this is coming from a choir boom, going all over south south chris it's been um, so beautiful and then wonderful having you in the program. Of course it has been and I'm so happy I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I, I have this platform where I tell people about Divine Grace Foundation and I tell people about Grace Coco. Mm, thank you so very much Grace Coco <laughs> for coming on the program. Much. Okay, that will be it today on Business and Entrepreneurship Corner here on Brios TV. And I, I would like you to be a part of whatever Grace uh, Divine Grace Foundation is doing. Be a part of the training at Toron if you've not had such a training before. Uh, the venue again is at Full Life uh, Christian yes. Center Oron and the other is at the Apostolic Church Oron Road. Run. So please, if you're around that axis or if you're in your or it's in Baron and you want to be a part of that training, please feel free to go there. And of course, you'll be amazed at what you get from the training. And from me, it is. Bye-bye.